What up, Pink Lady T Birds? Just having to be watchers of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink. Peace up, A Town Down, I guess. Ain't no reason to do that shit because this is a hot take. This is straight from the camera. There's no graphics, there's no none of that. I still got to be in theme with my Atlanta hat. But I got on my house dress. I just got off the shower, just got off of work. Really don't feel that fucking great, but want to hear it here go. So, Super Bowl 53, after the debacle and the trash heap that was Justin Timberlake in Minnesota, Super Bowl 53, Atlanta, and the headliner, the performers at the Super Bowl, Maroon 5. Now, y'all know I'm on Twitter. Follow me. That shit is up there somewhere to tell you that. But Twitter went fucking nuts. Okay? Mostly black Twitter, which I love. My favorite things on Twitter is black Twitter and gay Twitter because they will drag the fuck out of everybody. But basically, nobody seems to be real amused that it's Maroon 5. First, I want to address black Twitter. Because black Twitter seems to be mad because it's in Atlanta and all these black hip-hop acts in Atlanta. But hold on. But hold on. When Bruno Mars' headline was there in Hawaii, when Beyonce's headline was there in Houston, were they in California when Katy Perry headline? No. That's never had anything to do with it. Let Auntie Pink put you on to some game. That's never had anything to do with it. Now, the person that sings the national anthem, generally, they try to pull somebody that is from that area. Then, they do actually do that. But not for the halftime show. So, all y'all, it should have been Usher, it should have been Outkast, save it. Secondly, the only two people that was really eligible for that was Outkast and Usher. Because, let's think about it. I'm talking about some, I just seen people that enlisted all the Atlanta acts. They talking about running the jewels. Yang Yang Twins. Them franchise boys. Ludacris. Future. Um, Young Thug. I think they said Young Thug. I don't know. But I'm looking at this list and I'm like, y'all do know it's the Super Bowl, right? The fucking Yang Yang Twins. You can't, Lil John, the Eastside Boys, you can't have crunk stripper anthems and fucking trap bangers at the fucking... Super Bowl. None of those people were going to get picked. None of those people were going to get picked. They weren't even on the fucking short list. They wasn't even on the medium list. Cut it out, Black Twitter, because it's in Atlanta. It should be some Atlanta acts. No, that's never been the fucking case. This is not a concert. This is not Kanye West bringing out Eminem because they in Detroit. This is the fucking Super Bowl. If Justin Timberlake would have understood that instead of trying to give a goddamn tribute to Prince because he was in Minneapolis trying to do some shit, Prince didn't even motherfucking like you. But we reviewed that last year on Janet Jackson Appreciation Day, and I guess this year is going to be motherfucking J-Lo Appreciation Day because a lot of people thought J-Lo, which probably would have been decent. Rihanna, great. You know, somebody had said Blondie. I was okay with that because, you know, you have to think of the audience that you have. Everybody that's watching the Super Bowl is not young. That's why they try to get Universal Acts again, why you're not going to get Future or the fucking Migos at the goddamn Super Bowl as the headliners. Now let me put you on to some more game. The two people that y'all probably could have got or that would have been, they have enough hits and enough crossover appeal to do that from Atlanta. And I know some of y'all want to say T.I. and Ludacris. Fuck no. T.I. raps about being a drug dealer a little bit too much. And he's been in a little bit too much trouble right now. The other person is Ludacris. And you really think he going to be able to get up at the Super Bowl and say, move, bitch, get out the way. I want to lick, lick, lick you from your head to your toes. Cut it out. He gonna get out there and do baby with Justin Bieber? I mean, come on. So your two options from Atlanta is really Outkast and Usher. 
Usher out here letting it burn in the middle of the Me Too movement. And sorry, Usher's not gonna fucking get to do it. And Outcast. Do I think under different circumstances for something as big as the Super Bowl, Outcast will get back together and do the Super Bowl? Yes. Under the circumstances with how the NFL handled the whole Colin Kaepernick and take a knee thing? Fuck no. Not Outcast. And for real, let's keep it all the way 100. A lot of these trap rappers and crunk motherfuckers that y'all think should headline wouldn't fucking do it either because of that. Know that. When Jay-Z said, fuck no, I'm not even going on there with Justin Timberlake and that's his boy because of that, other rappers follow fucking suit. You want a rap act, you better get a Machine Gun Kelly or a Macklemore or something because honestly, one of the only rap acts I think that they would let even headline the Super Bowl would be Eminem. And Eminem wouldn't do that shit because of that. Now, here's my other thing about Maroon 5. When Maroon 5 came out, that was my shit. Because it's getting harder and harder to breathe. Y'all know I'm sick and I don't see it. I know it's anyway. But the first time I heard that song, I was floored. Who is these cats? They is playing rock. This singer is killing this. That shit went hard. Then they came out with their other songs. Somebody actually tweeted that. If it's got to be Maroon 5, then the rule is they got to sing songs about Jane in its, day, in, in its entirety, and that's it. Because I like Maroon 5. I like Adam Levine. I think uh, Adam Levine gets a lot of criticism about his voice. But when I heard him sing with Kanye West, a lot of times when people can sing, no shade to other genres because I listen to everything. But when you hear somebody sing either gospel or R&B, you can tell if somebody can really sing. And when he heard him saying that, Heard him say with Kanye West. I was like, this boy can sing. But. Let's keep it 100. This is the Super Bowl. Y'all want to hear a bunch of mid-tempo and ballads? Because what really upbeat hyper song for a football song do they got? One. Moves like Jagger. That's it. What other song by Maroon 5 can you hear them playing in the stadium in between breaks? Like, if y'all was actually in the stadium and somebody was playing songs in between the, the timeouts and shit. They don't have none. What y'all gonna say? Sugar! Yes, please! Okay, that's alright, but at the Super Bowl, though? That's cute for a Grammy performance. That's cute for Late Night with Conan O'Brien. You know, but for the Super Bowl, also, the Super Bowl is spectacle. That means you need stuff going on. Dancers. It's not a lot of songs that wake up, call, caught you in the morning with another one in my bed at the Super Bowl. She will be loved at the Super Bowl. No, it doesn't work. It does. It doesn't fucking work. Now, also, a lot of times bands and other acts. No, maybe my performance cannot carry like this. So that's when you get a Katy Perry bringing out a Missy Elliott. That's when you get Coldplay bringing out Beyonce and Bruno Mars, even though they had both just did the two shows before that. So. Why? But it made for a good show because Coldplay knew us standing up here playing instruments ain't going to be that goddamn interesting for a Super Bowl performance. So with that being said, you start thinking about who Maroon 5 can bring out. Well, again, you got to do moves like Jagger. Period. You got to do moves like Jagger. It's your only upbeat song. You can bring out Christina Aguilera. So, are you going to give her a song by herself? Do we want to see that? I mean, because otherwise we could have just gave Christina Aguilera a Super Bowl. No shade. Extina is a bad bitch. She can sing. But, come on. Come on. Come on. Be real with yourself. Now, 
Also, they can bring scissor. First of all, the part that they gave scissor on that song is so lazy. Secondly, what song is SZA that would she be able to do? Okay, now we're going to let SZA do a song by herself. Which side bitch anthem is she going to sing at the Super Bowl? Bueller? Right. Okay. Now we get down to the two major ones, which honestly I think had a little bit something to do with why they picked Maroon 5, but I don't know. I could be wrong. So now... You have three rap acts that you have features. You have Future. <laughs> they not bringing out Future. <laughs> Chocolate up is a loss. They ain't bringing out Future. They could bring out Kendrick. Or they can bring out Cardi. Their big hit right now has Cardi on it. Which I have no doubt it's a big hit right now. It'll probably make the year end list. No doubt in my mind, they're doing girls like you, if not to open and to close. Couple things about that. Cardi has already gone on record to say she will not do a Super Bowl as long as the NFL is hang handling this take a knee like this. She can backpedal and pussy pop. But somehow, Cardi don't seem like that type of person. IJS. Um... Also, with her recent behavior and her and Nikki fighting and everything and the Super Bowl trying to stay away from anything controversial, especially when it has to do with black people, might be like, yeah, maybe not Cardi. Then you got Kendrick. Kung Fu Kenny, which every performance he had has been a political statement. Now, I personally would love to see Kendrick because I think Kendrick would do some old ignorant shit and say, oh, yeah, this is what I'm wearing, and then take his motherfucking Nike hoodie off because you can't stop nobody from wearing Nike because the NFL got a contract with Nike. All, everybody on your field got on Nike for the next 10 years. Then they dropped the Colin Kaepernick commercial. <laughs> Crazy motherfuckers. But anyway... In case you just see Kendrick come up there and say, yeah, I'm going to do my verse and this and this and this. And him just unzipping his jacket and having on a Colin Kaepernick jersey. Can't you just see Kendrick doing some shit like that? Can't you just see Cardi doing some shit like that because she's a messy bitch that lives for drama? And the NFL ain't dummies. They know that. So they might go to Maroon 5 and be like, you can't have this person as a guest, this person, or this person. Because why Katy Perry ain't had Snoop Dogg? You could have. Why didn't you? Because he promotes weed smoke? IJS. Or maybe they did ask people. Because, you know, like I said, they said a lot, Justin Timberlake did ask a lot of people. And because of what he did with Janet and because of how the NFL was doing with the take and knee, a lot of people told him, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not giving them no ratings, no. So I say that to say this, we're in for a very boring Super Bowl performance. Now, I have not watched the NFL game because I have my own problems. Because the team that I follow, I personally have some issues with their owner. So, though I still support my Dallas Cowboys, I have not given them any ratings. You are not going to show me any commercials. I will not be buying any new Dallas Cowboy merchandise this year. Ain't gonna front. We make it to the Super Bowl. I'm watching that bitch. But the halftime show, I'll be there for that. Because y'all seem to really enjoy my take on Justin Timberlake's performance last year. And I'm gonna see Train Wreck Part 2. Not starring Bill Hader or Amy Schumer. But this Super Bowl performance that is bound to be fucking trash. I'm sorry about it. I used to really like Maroon 5 and I don't hate them now. But for a Super Bowl performance, I just don't fucking see it. Especially when you think about there has never been a Rihanna. Never been a solo Britney show. Shit, get Cher. 
Share, turn that bitch out. Share for everybody. Share to have a song in like five decades straight that everybody know and everybody like. Get Share. But then Share a little too outspoken too. Maroon 5 is safe. Maroon 5 is safe. They've been booking safe since, since motherfucking Janet Jack's titty flew out. Booked the motherfucker that snatched it out. But safe nonetheless. So we gonna see. Thank you, patrons, PayPal, all that good shit. I'm uploading this straight up, having some dinner. And I'm in bed, because I gotta go back to work tomorrow. So see y'all when I see y'all. Keep it greasy. Deuces.